Oi, Boris, George Orwell called. He said 1984 was a warning, not a bumbling buffoon's governance manual, you snivelling shit weasel. Now guys, as you know, Boris made his announcement yesterday, forcibly coercing the young people into doing as he says, or lose the ability to enjoy the life he's forced them to put on hold to save the elderly. No longer is there sacrifice over the past 484 days of what was 14 days to flatten the curve enough. Their mental health has been smashed along with life chances, but now it's like, fuck that. They won't fall in line, so I'll force them to do it, is what Boris Johnson is saying. Not something you would expect from a conservative prime minister, but let's be honest, we all know there are a bunch of commies, not conservatives at this point. Anyway, earlier today, Good Morning Britain did a little debate on the double-jabbed mandatory passport bullshit, which was actually more of a three versus one ambush than an actual debate. Even with that being said, Dominique did well enough on her own against these fanatical nutjobs. In fact, she had the Good Morning Britain host by the balls over a lot of things. Like 123-year-old medical precedents and racial discrimination that the media are usually so quick to jump on. Except, of course, when real discrimination arrives like this. Clearly, they only care about their imagined ones to push their agendas. As you will see, it literally seems like they don't care if vaccine passports discriminate against anyone, ethnic minorities or not. But you know what, listen to her shitting on them before we get into the pro-jab passport ponce going full pan land Rod Stewart on us later. Firstly, Benjamin, you need to come off it because for you to be in a club surrounded by other people with no protection um, in terms of a mask or anything like that, no social distancing, you clearly didn't care that much. So to then advocate that other people should be restricted from coming in when you were happily fine to congregate with people that hadn't necessarily had their vaccines, I think it's hilarious. And in terms of the actual vaccine I think everyone else should do what I've done. Passports, you have to look at this in the context of the facts that we have so far. So a parliamentary committee on vaccine passports found that there was no scientific case for vaccine passports and most importantly that they were disproportionately discriminatory on the basis of race, socio-economic class and sex. So they're discriminatory. And All right, so two things, right? As I've just said, it doesn't stop you from catching or pass it on, passing it on as we know from the data, the evidence that we have. And we know that it's designed it's to stop you. Doesn't it? seriously ill or, or die. And we know that because young people have pre-immunity, because young people are less than seriously ill from the disease, vaccine passports in nightclubs make no sense. And all of the evidence on vaccine passports specifically, even a parliamentary report, say that. And I mean, you guys love to talk about race. Are you going to address the fact that it disproportionately discriminates on the basis of race, vaccine passports? Or is that no. just... OK, no, 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 Dominique, Dom, you know, we're perfectly happy to have that conversation, but but how does... Oh. What was the explanation for that? The explanation, when you look at the statistics, who is less likely to be vaccinated? It's black people in comparison to white people. Poorer people are less likely to vaccinated which is why the parliamentary committee mentioned those two things so what you would be doing is discriminating against people on the basis of their race and on the basis of their socio-economic class isn't the answer know. to that to encourage people who are less likely to have their vaccine to have it rather than saying that that's an argument against vaccine passports for people to go into nightclubs is that you talk Talk about encouragement. This is an encouragement. This is forcing people to get vaccinated. Yeah. And the liberty of non-vaccination has been a legal principle in this country since 1898. Okay, so this is, about, this is about forcing people. Uh, Benjamin, I'm sure you want to come back on some of those points that Dominique's made. Well, first, she wrecks him for his hypocrisy, which is obviously great. You can't have a great time at a nightclub on Sunday partying without a care in the world before coming on TV to spout shit about being afraid. Obviously, you didn't look very afraid in the pictures that they showed earlier in the show, so I've got to call some bullshit on that one. Now, what she states about the vaccine passports and the discriminatory nature of them is 100% correct. They will discriminate against many races and religions, personally held beliefs and those who just don't bloody want it. Which, remember, are all valid reasons at the end of the day. Shit, even no reason at all is a valid one. Free choice is what matters and bodily autonomy is obviously something we all have to stand up for. 
but her talking about racial discrimination I find actually quite funny and extremely well played I must say, because she had noticed not one media shit weasel has pointed out, a lot of black people for instance won't be getting this jab regardless of what they say. On top of that there will also be some from various religions who won't and even some women which of course is up to them as it should always be but using race against the race baiters is obviously always a great angle to take, as is the parliamentary report on this which mentions Resolution 2361 from the Council of Europe themselves, who have actually said forced or coerced vaccines are a big no-no earlier this year. Of course the GMB host ignores that, but Dominique skillfully moves back to the racial angle that media types often support exposing them perfectly I must say. I did however find it funny to see a bunch of white lefties arguing with a black woman about what black people want or what they won't do. But remember, these media types are only anti-racist when the person spouts shit that they actually agree with. If a black person is against them then they might as well be white in the eyes of these tosspots, it certainly seems that way. I mean, as you see, even the idiot we will hear from in a moment sat there shaking his head at her, which would be the end of the world if I did that on national TV as you all know. Now, when she points out they usually love race so much but are silent on this now, you see Susanna go on full damage control, while not actually addressing the elephant in the room, that is Dominique being 100% right and she's got them by the balls. As you lot know I hate using race for anything but with this situation the angle is actually right and will make their own woke claims over years backfire massively on the media and twitter tosspots literally every time it's brought up. Her finishing up by pointing out that this is forcing people to do it not encouraging them was right on the money and something no one can argue with at the end of the day. Of course the idiot on their wither will try and fail so let's see what this tosspot has to say. Yeah, I mean, look, it's complete nonsense to claim that vaccine passports mean that you're being forced to get the vaccine. Everyone has a choice. We have choices in all parts of our lives every day, but choices have consequences. And if you're not willing to take the step that is scientifically proven to make yourself safer and those around you safer by getting your free two doses of the vaccine, then you are making a choice that has a consequence that you can't do some other things. And I think it's fair enough that the government has said they'll wait till September because that's when everyone aged 18 and over will have had the chance of their second dose. So people that refuse to get that, for me, those people are selfish, they're dangerous, and I dare say they're a bit stupid because I can't understand why you would turn down your vaccine and I don't I, think that they should be able I, to lead their lives as normal when they're putting other people at risk and the other point I'd add is that nightclubs and other venues, festivals, theatres, uh, bars that are busy, they've all had to close for much of the last 16 months because of this pandemic. These businesses need us to get back and be safe so that we don't have more outbreaks and more people going to hospital and that's why everyone should get the vaccine and I think it's shocking that you wouldn't argue that. Well, fuck me, is he a little bit salty? People disagree with his authoritarian lunacy, but he actually has nothing to come back against anything she said. All he has is opinions and propaganda while she gave facts, parliamentary reports and all sorts during the multiple times she verbally shat on these idiots. The moment he gets salty though, you can tell he has no real argument to make, he just attacks everyone who disagrees with him in true tosspot fashion. But in what is a shameful act by GMB themselves, they actually let him do it and do it unchallenged. Not once did they pull him up on it because they obviously support vaccine apartheid in the UK it would seem. He sat there calling people selfish, dangerous and stupid, despite it sounding like he was describing himself if you ask me. Either way though, he's clearly out of his tiny little mind, going on like shit rod, not wanting the unvaccinated to walk the streets. I was waiting for him to say it, I have to say. Can't even go into work. I mean, personally, I have to say, I don't even think that we should allow people on the streets unless they've had the vaccine. I have to say, watching that kid on GMB makes me wonder if Pan Lamrod Stewart had a love child, would this lump of soy be the outcome from it? As I'm sure you've noticed, they seem to be singing from the same hymn sheet at least. Either way though, GMB are a complete joke, and even in this 3 versus 1, Dominique made them look stupid, so well done to her. As you know, this lunacy needs to be opposed by all on every level. Shit protests on the weekend are a start, as is anything at this point, let's be honest.
Where 